afternoon, y'all. My name is Richard. I'm the clinical coordinator. Today I'm excited because we're going to go over our new video laryngoscopes from Intibrite. This video will go over the initial setup and technique, decon, and data transfer procedure. Let's get started. All the components of the video laryngoscope come together in a soft shell case. Inside the case, you'll find the monitor and handle, along with the wand, data transfer cable, charging cable, additional battery, and SD card reader. Additional equipment for the laryngoscope include rigid stylets and disposable Mac blades that go over the wand. At the beginning of your shift, begin by powering on the screen with the large power button on the bottom left. Once it goes through its initial checks, you'll see the screen. At the bottom left of the screen is the battery indicator. If it's less than 50%, go ahead and get a fresh battery or begin recharging. At the top left is the SD card indicator. Without an SD card, you cannot record pictures or video. Four other buttons sit on the monitor. They are your mode button, which will allow you to switch between your viewing and your file review. Snap, which will allow you to take a picture. Record, which will allow you to begin to record video and with the second pushing of the record button, you'll be able to stop recording videos. The OK button is like an enter button with the left and right user interface. On the side of the monitor are gonna be four ports. The first one is for charging. The second one is for data transfer. The third one being AV out. And the last one being your SD card slot. It uses a micro SD, so be sure to leave it in there. It's really small and it's really easy to lose. Using the video laryngoscope is similar to the method you're already familiar with, with just a few additional steps. The first step is to attach the wand to the handle the same way you would a regular laryngoscope handle. At the end is a warming element, which after 30 seconds will allow you to clear through fog and secretions. Once this is attached, go ahead and use your disposable sheath and snap it into place. Set this aside. Using a rigid stylet, insert it into the ET tube that you selected. You don't have to use a rigid stylet, but whatever stylet you use, make sure it matches the curvature of the blade you selected. While that warms up, go ahead and start preparing your oxygen, suction, alternative airway devices, and manage your airway appropriately. Once all of your equipment is assembled, turn on the video laryngoscope with the power button and wait for it to power on. At this point, hit the record button to start a video recording. You can introduce the video laryngoscope into the pharynx, either midline or using a sweep technique. Adjust the video monitor to make it ergonomically more comfortable for you to view. At this point, use the upward and away push technique to get the best view of the vocal cords possible. Now the first mistake most people make with a video scope is to put the camera lens directly in front of the vocal folds. And what that does is it prevents you from passing the ET tube in front of the camera. It's a no-go. The proper technique is to place the tip of the blade into the vollecula and displace the anatomy. That way you have a full view of the vocal folds and the arytenoids. Once this is your view, go ahead and insert the ET tube at a 90 degree angle and pass it between the vocal folds. At this time, carefully remove the video laryngoscope from the mouth and use your thumb to hit the record button again. This will stop recording. Set the scope aside in a soft and secure location. Inflate the ET tube cuff, remove the rigid stylets, verify your placement and secure as you normally would. To clean up your video laryngoscope, first start by removing the disposable Mac blade. There's a small button which will allow you to push off the tab and remove it. Throw it away. Next step is to remove the wand from the handle, just like you would a normal blade. Using a Clorox wipe or other sanitary wipes such as Cavicide, go ahead and clean any debris off of the wand, making sure to get into all the spaces. The monitor itself is not waterproof. Do not submerge it or put it into hot soapy water. Clean the outside edges and all the attachment points. Once you dry it, it's ready to be put back into its case and be ready for charging and the next service. 
to attach the video file to your documentation software, attach the small data out cable to the port on the side of the screen. Using the other end of the USB, attach it to your PC device. For EMS charts specifically, on page 9, there's an attached files portion. Click on that and you'll be able to browse your files. This should come up as a mass storage device or a camera device. Select the video file and attach it to your charts.